gorgeous soul friends thank you so much for tuning in my name is Hannah welcome to my channel and it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous earth experience today these will be short little videos just answering single questions if you have a question while you're watching this video go ahead and drop it down in the comment box below and I'll add it to the series all right so the question is since it's important to not be afraid or anxious when manifesting I wanted to know how to not be afraid I get so worried about what people will think, bad outcomes, all of that stuff, that I just struggle to detach and take action toward my manifestations. Please let me know if you have any tips. The biggest thing to know here is that you're never going to fully be able to take fear out of the picture. We have animal bodies. Fear has been woven into our biomechanics for our survival. You can, however, mitigate feelings of fear. Um, or replace them with a vision, an affirmation, or a feeling, whatever works for you. Um, you can also breathe through your fear. I think that this is a really common and effective tool in managing our emotional turmoil, is utilizing the breath. Conscious, slow breaths into the diaphragm, inhaling through the nose, holding for a couple of seconds, exhaling through the mouth, really pushing out all of that air. Um, if you're interested in doing some slow breathing, I have some guided meditations on my channel you can try, um, and I do incorporate techniques of breathing into those meditations. I've already discussed on my channel before the effectiveness of breath work um, and, and kind of how it's working. It's really telling your sympathetic nervous system how to feel, and your nervous system is what's creating your entire sensory experience. So through your breath, you're telling your nervous system what's going on in your reality um, and, and what's going on in your experience. So if you start thinking about potential negative outcomes and you begin to spiral, that's fine. It's not a big deal, all right? It happens to the best of us. There have been so many manifestations that I've gotten where I've reflected back onto all of the times that I anticipated the bad outcomes and I was worried about the bad outcomes and still got my manifestation. Okay, so you can worry, you can have anxiety, like it, it's normal, it's fine. <laughs> um, but the key is to replace a lot of those feelings with a vision or with an affirmation or something that can help you kind of hold on to that new reality that you're aligning to. You can also have an affirmation on deck that you use to flip your feelings about a certain outcome. Um, you know, affirming things like, if I already have my manifestation, then why would I be worried? You know, I've, I found myself doing this in moments of anxiety, um, in moments of wavering. I'll ask myself, like, if it's taken care of, why am I concerned right now? <laughs> you know, it's already worked out for me. Live in the assumption that it's already done. And when you begin to waver, use the power of your words to remind yourself that it's already done. Because sometimes we just need that little self reminder with our affirmations, right? You can flip circumstances at the drop of a hat with the power of your words. Okay, so if you're having a hard time controlling your wavering emotions and you're having a hard time um, mitigating anxiety and all of that, find a statement that works for you and use that statement every single time you waver, every single time you experience anxiety and watch the magic happen in your life. Watch circumstances shift, sometimes instantaneously. It's kind of crazy. Um, but that's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I love you so much and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye. Thank you.